have any uh, knowledge, uh, uh, perhaps through intelligence, uh, that uh, Private King is, is alive? Well, that's something that we're focused on. We're fo focused on um, our, our priority focus and um, what the secretary reiterated at the beginning um, of this week was that we want to bring him home. We don't know his condition. We don't know um, where he's being held. We don't know um, the status of his health. Um, but we are working with the interagency through the DOD, through the NSC and state, um, really pulling all levers of government here to, to try and find out more. But I don't, I don't have a... I don't have anything else to add on that. So you don't know, you couldn't say right now whether even through intelligence uh, uh, channels that you know he's alive. I wouldn't be able to get into any intelligence or, or speak to that. All I can say is that from when he crossed over to the DMZ, um, we know he is in custody of the North Koreans. Um, but beyond that, in terms of his condition, I just I can't speak to that. And then on the issue of uh, U.S. forces in South Korea, has there been any kind of greater restrictions put on them? Has anything changed uh, regarding you know their freedom of movements when off duty or in, in, in a, you know when they're in travel you know themselves? Uh, that's a good question for um, uh, uh, South Korea uh, forces. There, I am not aware of any changes to any policy, so I direct you then. So, Janie. To, uh, same questions on the, these issues. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, uh, because uh, everybody uh, have a lot of questions about this, I uh, visited this area several times. Mm -hmm. JSA is a place where safety is highly demanded, but how could this soldier who left without boarding a plane attend the tour of Panmunjom? Well, that's something that the investigation um, is going to be looking at. We don't know his motivations for why he did not board the plane. Um, we don't know what he did in the hours between when he left the airport and when he crossed over um, into uh, the DPRK. We have snippets of time and, and understand from I mean, we've seen some of the publicly reported imagery of him taking the tour of what time that was. but beyond that window of sort of the questions that you're getting into on like what he did during the time that he, uh, between when he left the airport and the tour, that's something that the investigation is going to have to look into. I think there was a security gap because they not follow him and they not, this is guys, they have troublemakers, something, you know. You sure. Well, that. again, it's something that I mentioned before. This wasn't a service member that was in custody. Um, he had served uh, um, in a in a correctional facility in South Korea. Um, he was being returned to his duty station at home. Um, so there was, you know, we I, I don't think anyone anticipated that he was going to leave the airport. Um, he did have escorts take him all the way up through security. Um, and what we know is that he confirmed that he was, you know, near or, or somewhere uh, close by the gate. But I don't think there was any anticipation that he was going to not board his flight. Um, Okay, yep, question. Do China one. and Russia are conducting large-scale military mm -hmm. exercise on the east coast near South Korea. And meanwhile, North Korean Kim Jong-un announced today uh, he ready for the nuclear war. How can you respond to this? Well, I think on, on the exercises, we've seen um, the China and Russia conduct these exercises just last year. Um, again, it shows China siding or, or prioritizing um, an exercise with a country that unjustly invaded its sovereign neighbor. Um, you saw the joint statement that President Putin and President Xi, I think, had also put out. Um, again, all of this demonstrates that the link between European security, Indo-Pacific security, it's all, it's all linked together. And um, we certainly are, are in touch with our allies and partners around the world, but um, we've seen this exercise take place just, just last year. I'm going to move on, and I can, I can always come